Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I have another haul to share with you from Hobby Lobby. Um, if you didn't already know, Joann's was having a sale on their paper pads. Um, all the Park Lane ones were, they're originally $12.99, and they had them for $4.99. I thought that was such a great deal. And um, I was looking online, and a lot of them at the store was wiped out. Although they did have a lot of them online, and so I was like debating if I should order them online. But... I was trying to be good and like not getting because I got so much paper I need to use up. I got so many albums I got to make up. So I was like him hawing back and forth for the longest time. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? And then um, finally um, one of the, uh, was it Wednesday, um, my son was supposed to have karate class and they just changed to a new location. And so I was going under my email trying to find that address again and we were just getting on the main road and all of a sudden I've got this email saying that the karate class was canceled. So we're like, well, we're already out. What are we going to do? You know, so, um, I actually needed some specific ribbon for an album that I'm making. I needed black and white gingham ribbon. So we went to Hobby Lobby and because I'm making an album out of this one and one of my last hauls from the Paper Studios, how I got these for $2.99 when they were originally $9.99, they had a sticker on it for $5.99 and I got 50% off so it was only $2.99. This is the farmhouse one that I was making and you can kind of see right here it's got that black and white gingham and I wanted a ribbon to match that to go with it for um, closure and stuff. And I was debating between two of them. I found this one and then one just like a plain one. And I went with this one because it's got these little like bumps on the side it is so cool i like this one a lot um it wasn't on sale so it was 3.99 but it does have um four yards on there <laughs> but of course i went and found other stuff first before i found the main thing that i went for um first i looked i saw that they had their um like seasonal stuff 50 percent off i don't know if it was spring or summer and um i saw this ribbon it was so cute it was this one with this little blue truck and I love that truck and it's got these really pretty flowers on it and it was 50% off originally is $4.99 and it was 50% off so it was um, $2.49 and um, it actually has six yards in here so I thought that was worth it because that's quite a bit and they're just so cute and then they did have a um, wooden sign that was of this truck you know it's just all wooden and you paint it yourself I almost got it and I'm mad I didn't because it was so cute and it would have been a fun project to do I like doing those but I didn't because then um, I went to the clearance side of course they have a wall where they put all their clearance stuff and I found this I actually passed this the first time and I went by one more time and I found this I tried to take the sticker off it's all sticky but it was $2.99 for this really pretty feather stamp i'm trying to stay away from these wood ones because they take up so much room i need to like downsize but i just i loved it so much it was so pretty and i thought it'd be great with junk journals and stuff and scrapbooking and cards so i end up splurging and getting it it was only 2.99 and then i found um some random things i found this game in there um it's called Mad Hoops Basketball Headband Game. There was no instructions how to play it, but it, it was only $2.49, and we were playing it last night uh, while I was making dinner, and we were having so much fun. Um, it was really easy to assemble, too. It's got the net, the hoop, and then it's got these three like um, stick things, and then the headband, and you just slide them in and connect them, and it comes with... 10 white balls and 10 red balls and then it's got the little velcro so it adjusts to your size of your head and then you put on your head and you try to um, catch them inside the net and we were just doing like a bunch of different games there's a bunch of different ways you could do it you know but we were just having fun with our son <laughs> our four-year-old just playing with it it was a lot of fun so it was definitely worth the two dollars and 49 cents like you could do like a red against red team against white team and stuff and then they had some like jewelry pieces that was on clearance. Um, this was originally $4.99 and I got it for $1.24. But it said yay and I like the colors and I thought this would be cute for like a little dangle or you know where I normally put like tassels and stuff on my albums like on the side. 
And then I, this made me think of like some of Jen Hadfield's and Amy Tangerine's, you know, like the colors in here and the yay. It reminded me of that. And so I thought this could go with one of those collections. But it was really cute and it was only $1.24. So I went with that. I got one of those. And then I found these pretty earrings. Um, it was originally $13 and I got it for $3.24. But the reason why I got it was because in the back it said 10 karat gold plate, one set. So um, I cannot wear cheap earrings. I can only wear like gold and white gold earrings or else my ears break out really bad and bleed and ugh, yeah, it's bad. Which is really weird. Like I can touch metal, no problem, but I can't have it inside me or else I get like an allergic reaction. My skin breaks out. So I was going to see if I could wear these ones or not because being 10 karat, which I hope so because I have hardly any earrings because of that. But uh, it was so pretty and I don't have anything gold. And it's not huge, you know, so it was really cute. So I thought I was going to try it. If not, I'll find something else for it with my projects. And my son absolutely loves Easter. And we found these, um, well, I found <laughs> these little dipping eggs dies. And they're only 29 cents. So I was like, why not? It's got the dies in there. And it does have all these stickers too, but we're mostly using for the dies. So we're ready for Easter next year for 29 cents. That's a lot cheaper than $2.99. And then um, one of their aisles, I saw a lot of red, of those orange tags, the reduced tags. So I went down there and it was a lot of um, like little glass figurines and a lot of photos, like signs to put on your wall, like pictures with saints and stuff. And then um, I found this mermaid. Okay. I didn't need her, but I love her. <laughs> it, it is plastic. And I'm trying to remember how much she was. She was originally $13.99, and I got her for $3.49. And, like, I don't know where I'm going to put her yet, but I just, I loved her so much because it made her think of me, and because I love the ocean so much, and she had long hair like me, and has my favorite colors. I love blue, so I just... She was the last one. I just, I had to get her. I just love her. I think I'm going to put her, like, on my nightstand or something. She's so pretty. So, I ended up getting her. And then, um, they also had picture frames. And I ended up getting one for my father, my dad. I was thinking of using this for a, um, for his birthday or for Christmas found this really nice picture frame it is for a five by seven photo and it's got all these like fishing lures hanging on it but they're not sharp of course they're just like cut off but I thought that was so cool it's got that you know kind of rustic feel to it I love like the distress on the wood and those staples in it and it's got jute you know stapled around it I really want to get a picture of my father and my son fishing together and put that in there and give this to him as a present so Hopefully we can go up there again and go fishing because we were going to do that last time and it ended up raining and it was too cold and yucky. and But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a good picture and put it in there and give that to him as a present. I'm really excited about it. It was only uh, $3.24, which I thought wasn't bad because originally it was $12.99. And they also had this little section down there which had like handles to drawers and they had these whales. It was so cute. They were like a dark blue, but the tails were broke off. So I was kind of sad about that. But I found this uh, fish one. It's a bass and, you know, it's got the little handle and it's got the screws for it. I can't believe it though. They originally had these for $8, $7.99. But luckily I got it for $1.99 because I wouldn't pay $8 for a little handle. But... There's a reason for this. <laughs> this might sound crazy, but um, my sister-in-law, um, she wanted me to make her an album, like kind of a rustic fishing theme because her and her son like to go fishing together and his friend. 
And um, so she likes to take pictures every time they catch fish and stuff. She wanted to have an album about it to put all her pictures in. And so I had I saw this and I had an idea um, that I don't know if you've seen one of my last albums that I made. I made this traveling suitcase one. And so I was thinking of making another one like this to make it look like a fishing tackle, you know, and then putting the um, fish handle on top to be the part that she hangs on to. That's what I was kind of thinking. So that's my idea so far. So this was the last one I found in there too. So I grabbed that. And then I went down their sticker aisle and all I found out that all the paper studios were 50% off. I got some of these. Um, this one I got just because I really, really loved it. It had all these lighthouses. I love lighthouses. So I thought that would go good with, you know, scrapbooking and cards and junk journals and stuff. I just... I really really liked them and it's got seagulls in there so I got that one and then I got these two fishing ones I got this one last time but I wanted to use that for my son and my dad so I got another one specifically for that album and this one I like this one more because it's got more of that rustic look this one's a little bit more drawn you know kind of cartoony but not but I thought it has some good pictures and you know definitely use like this and stuff the bobber the sayings And then, um, this one, okay, it was just too stinking cute. I'm like $2.49 for just those little bit of stickers. I'm like, I don't know. And it was half price. Because then I found out that they had two things of them, one in the front and one in the back. So this is so adorable. Look at that pig. Like, how can you say no to that? And the cow and the chickens. And then... Uh, I do in the future. I, I have I don't have enough stuff yet, but I do want to make a junk journal that's all sunflower theme. So I thought that was a good enough excuse so I could get this. <laughs> so yeah, I end up going in and getting that one. And then there's a reason behind these ones. I'll have to show you at the end. But I got more of these. Um, half price so 250 and I love these there's eight designs and three of each and they have like little flaps that shows I got these little girls they're like little dolls and it shows all of them in the back they are so cute I love the little doodle to them and then there's this summer themed one it's got flamingo it's got two pineapples it's got that like or a uh, swan inner tube a popsicle, sunglasses, a little fun hat that says bouquet vibes, and then this girl, you know, floating in, on, or actually it looks like she's laying on a towel. And then um, these ones, I got some gold foil in them. It says, hello lovely, and then girls just want to have fun, and it's got those little girls on it. I love her hair. It's got those glasses that with gold foil, and then like little kiss, you know, the lips. But there's a reason why I got those ones. I'll have to show those when I get to it. And then um, I went down the paper aisle, but I'm saving the paper for last. Um, after I went to the paper aisle, I um, that's when I finally remembered, oh, I got to get that ribbon. So I went to the fabric stuff, and they had this um, little display or whatever in the center of the aisle with all, you know, fabric and stuff for cl on clearance reduced. And um, I found this one wrapped up with this, and um, it was 58 inches by 36 inches. Yeah, and it was originally going to be $15, and I got it for $8.99. But I love the, it's very, you know, thick, really good texture and everything to it. I wanted to use this for my junk journals, and... Um, it's like a nice tan color and so this would be great support for the spine and everything and even for covers and there's just so much in it and then it also has the um the end of it which i actually like because of the texture to it it gives a lot of character and um was it the front or the back i think it had a little bit of red in it yeah some of it has some red in it i loved that So I got, I gave in and I got that one and then they had the whole things of them and um, I had to call somebody over to help me and she was really nice. They had some other ones that were on 
uh, clams with a red sticker reduced with the orange sticker on it. Um, there was these three. Um, I think two of them were for three dollars and one of them was for four dollars a yard and I'm pretty sure this one was for three dollars and then this one was three dollars and I think this one was four dollars or this one was four and this one was three one of those what's ways I think this one was four this one was three and this one was three because this one's thicker but um I got a yard of this one because this is perfect for a junk journal that I've been working on for the longest time and I've been um I kind of end up going to a like traveling theme and I have paper like just like this but it's like you know printed smaller and so this was like perfect to put on the cover and it's um you know strong enough that I'm not afraid of using it as the cover like it can handle being rubbed and whatnot so I love that so I got a yard of that and then this map one it's kind of just like regular cotton it's thin you can like kind of almost see through it but um I loved the map on there so I thought that'd be great for junk journals and stuff it's really nice Just, I love this one with all the sailboats. It's got anchors. And then this one, um, there wasn't much left. So um, I asked her, like, because I wanted at least a yard. And I wanted to know how much was left on there because it didn't seem like much. And she said there was only, like, a third of a yard in there so I told her I'll just take it all so there wasn't just like scraps left out on there and she's like thank you I really appreciate that <laughs> and um so yeah I took the rest of this and this one's like that heavy duty you know too and I just I loved how I love the stripes and I like all the little like speckles in it and it's very you know neutral and it goes with anything and this would be great for more junk journals you know like nature themed and stuff and even the um you know like beach themed ones and so this would go with a lot of projects I'm going with so it was definitely worth it so this one instead of three dollars it was like three ninety nine she gave me for all of it all right the grand finale the thing I got done the paper aisle I got these last time they had more of those paper craft kits where originally they're $9.99 and they've been putting stickers over them for $5.99. And since all their Paper Studio stuff was 50% off, I got them for $2.99, which is an unbelievable price. And not all of them were had the sticker on it, so I really had to go through them. And that's when my hands got full and I had to go back and get a cart and come back. <laughs> But, um, cause I wasn't expecting to get that much, but they had like more variety of them. And so I went through and grabbed all the ones that I liked. Um, I thought I grabbed 20 and I actually ended up grabbing 21. One of them I meant to put back, but that's okay. I ended up liking it once I went through it. So I'm going to show those to you and then I'm going to do a part two video and actually go through them and show them like all the pages and all the stuff that it came with. So let's begin. All right, here's one of them. This one is called Family. I absolutely love this one. It's got stickers, gold alphas, these adorable embellishments. I love this. And then this is the papers that it comes with. And then this one was Boho Vibe. This one was really cool. I liked the, there's like antlers in here. And I love, this one has frames in it. They got three different size frames in it. And um, I love that flower, that turquoise with the pink. So I got that one. This one is Petals and Blooms. It has gold foil in it, well, gold foil stickers. And then it's got um, like chipboard stickers on here and it's got like foam in the back of it. And then these stickers. And then this one had a really nice um, paper too. I love that floral one. And then this one. And then there is this uh, Darlene one. It is so cute. It's got like swans. It's got this um, bunny and little deers in it. They have the cutest cut apart. And I love these um, hearts. They're like enamel dots. But they're heart shaped. And then these gray alphas. I love those. Really, really cute. Like woodland themed baby 
And then um, this was the baby girl one. Um, the reason I got this one was because it's a little bit, because you know, all baby girl albums seems to be like all pink. But this one's got some yellow in it, which kind of changed it up a little bit. Because it's like, of course, you know, white and black, I think. But it's got this gray and then pink and yellow. So I end up getting that one I really like the font of the letters and there's got the sticker sheet and then all the uh, really fun um, embellishments and then really cute designs I love plaid and then there was this really nice wedding one and it's got this like rose gold in it I love the stickers in here it's got some you know little gems in there and then these um, like three-dimensional um, like little embellishments they're like 3D and I loved the paper in this and some of the paper does have the um, rose gold foil like this stripe one does and this plaid one does and I just I love the flowers in there and I got some embellishments that goes with that too from one of my past hauls and then since I got the baby girl I thought I'll get the baby boy one it's got green blue and yellow in it um, it's got these fun alphas bits which has little they're blue with tiny light blue dots in it um, it wasn't until, because I was kind of hurrying up, I liked, you know, it had animals in here, it had trucks in here, you know, it had dinosaurs and hot air balloons, but then I didn't realize it until I got home. There's only one page with actual designs on it, which I was kind of bummed out, so I have to find if there's any, if they have any sheets with, like, animals or dinosaurs or trucks to go with this. Dinosaurs are awesome! <laughs> and then, um... This one was just really pretty, and this one has that rose gold as well, and um, I had like swans I thought in here. Yeah, it's got swans in here, just really pretty. It has all different color um, uh, gems in it, got those pretty alpha skin. I love this floral sheet because it's got foil to it, so pretty. And then here is this really cute little um, woodland themed one, it's called Forest Friends. And it's got like fox and bear and skunk and squirrels. It's got all these little critters. And I love the embellishments in here. And then the alphas are like wood grain, which is right up my alley. So I'm probably going to be hoarding those for my scrapbooking. But really cute album. And each paper pad, they have the um, five different papers and two of each. So there's a total of ten pieces of paper in here. <laughs> And then this is one of the reasons why I got the stickers was for this one because they're the same um, girls in there. So that's why I got those for extra embellishments. It's not like I would really need any, but I thought, why not? And they were just so cute. So I got those. I love that flower. And then I got those gold alphas again. And then this one had frames too because you punch her out and then you get that as well. These are all the embellishments to that and the paper. So cool. And this little girl one, this one's Watercolor Girls, which has those little dolls, which is why I got this one, because these girls are the same in this design, and they got a couple in there too. But they were just so cute, and I love the doodle to them. They're so pretty. And then they got those colorful gems too. And then the sticker sheets. And then these colorful alphas, which is really awesome. And I just, I like the colors of the paper. I can definitely get like a girls or like a teenage girl, you know, theme album out of it. And then I'll use the scraps for scrapbooking, cards, and junk journals. And then I kept them going back and forth on this one. And finally, I ended up just getting it. This one is called My Sweet Margaret and it's kind of got like a French thing going on like a traveling I think but it's like I just I loved these colors this is this is the paper that kind of sold it to me and I just the bird here it's just really really pretty I love all these fun colors and the pineapples so I end up getting that one and oh I love these uh, um, alphabets I love that blue And then this one was really cute. Hello Lovely. You know, it's got a lot of the black, white, pink, and gold. You know, it's got the eyelashes, the kisses, the hearts, bows, you know, unicorns. Like, it's got all the you know, girly girl stuff in here. And it's got those little gems in there, too. 
and these are those three dimensional it's got like layers you know so cool i love those layered um embellishments And then this one was really fun. I really end up liking this one. I wasn't sure, and I'm really glad I got it after I looked at the embellishments. I can't wait to show you in my um, next video. I'm going to go in details about this. And then they got the 3D stickers, like the layered stickers to them. This bright pink um, paper, which I knew I should have got yesterday. Oh, well. And then it's got these um, really cute colors. They got like red, white yellow blue and pink that like hot pink uh, gems and then the pretty paper and then this is the main one I went for I found this rustic uh, fish thing one which is exactly like at least what I was going for for the whole rustic fishing theme that my um, sister-in-law wants me to make so I thought this was perfect I might have to go and get more paper though but this was a great start with all the stickers and then this one has wood grain alphas as well and it had a two set of well, actually three sets of embellishments it's got the stickers it's got a uh, chipboard here it's actual chipboard like cardboard they're thick and then this one has that 3d dimensional to it and look at those alphabets they're like distressed you know wood grain and then this was a really fun little beach one it looks like it was like painted I liked the colors the blues and that like coral color so much fun and um, this one has those layered um, stickers as well embellishments I love those and then I like this blue alphas as well so pretty love it and some really fun paper and then this one was meant to be because it's got this uh, light um, peachy pink and then it has all mint in here and it just looked so cute. I liked a gold foil in it too and it's got flamingos. It was just so cute. I couldn't say no to it. And it does have gold foil in with the paper as well. a little better look at it there's some like gold foil in the pineapples and then the flamingos and then okay this is kind of weird for me to get this one because I've never been to New York and I never really plan on it because I am not a city person whatsoever um, maybe 10 years ago I probably would have but now I would not but the reason why I got it is like I love this minty color and I love these letters like that it looks like they're on bricks you know the brick wall and then I loved that yellow with it so yeah I end up giving in and I end up getting this one I really like the embellishment too they got that 3d um, embellishment again they got this really awesome sticker sheet and then the alphas and they got like the papers like the black and then they got a lot of black and white and then the yellow and mint and then that little bit of peachy pink or blush pink it was really cool I know I just I end up really liking it. I don't know why. But I'll definitely make an album out of that. Might be a little hard to find somebody up here in the north to find that will want to buy it, but I, I had to make it. Um, this one is Little Lumberjack. So cute. I had to get this one, especially for living up in the north. Um, but it's so cute. Look at these stickers. And then I loved these alphabets. Look at those. They kind of make me think of birch trees. They're just so pretty. And then they have these circular like chipboards in it. It was so cute. And of course it's got the um, black and red like gingham in there. And you see it's got birch trees here. It's just, oh. And then this one looks like deer skin, like the does. So pretty. Love it. And then I found another baby like themed one. This one's called Little Safari. And this one I liked because it could go boy or go girl. It had the neutral colors. You know, it has um, orange, yellow, green, and it's got some blue because of the sky and stuff. But they had these really fun um, glittery alphabets. They had the gems. And then these animals were just too cute. And they, they're layered as well. It's just so adorable. <clears throat> I do like the paper in it. So that'll be a fun little like baby or it also could be like a birthday theme too. See, hello little one. I love you. 
and this was the one that I didn't mean to get and um I actually end up accidentally getting it I meant to put it back down but my hands were so full apparently I still had it which actually I'm kind of glad I did end up getting it because this isn't one that I would normally go to um but I love these little girls I'll show you in my next video but yeah it's got these pink alphas some um clear stickers and then so much embellishments the embellishments is what sold it with me and then I do like the um paper design in it as well so yeah, that is my Hobby Lobby haul. So stay tuned and I will give you an actual, you know, flip through through these. And then I also have, um, end up going to Michael's to get some stuff too, which I'll show that as well. So stay tuned. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as much as I did. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on everything. Talk to you later. Bye. Have a great day.